Hello and welcome everyone to episode 2 of Minecraft Unlimited. Yeah, I decided to call it Unlimited. Not sure why, but with so many mods, I think, yeah, it's kind of unlimited. And yeah, I noticed some problems already with my video on my first episode, so uh, the comments are still rolling in, but I'm sure some of you are gonna mention it and uh, it started a bit sometimes and uh, yeah, not really good. A bit of a rocky start, you could say. And that's mainly because my hard drive was a bit full and I didn't pay attention to my capture, uh, what is it, the uh, indicator. That it couldn't capture 30 frames a second. So, <laughs> hope it's all fixed now. And uh, yeah, there's also uh, all the things you have to remember while recording and uh, turning off your phone and that sort of stuff. And uh, well, but we're back and we're gonna continue. I'm really happy again, <laughs> or still with my subscribers. It's you guys are amazing. I've been away for so long and I'm back and I got so many reactions and thank you guys for that. It's really nice to uh, to read up on, uh, on everybody and uh, hear that they really want to see you play again. So that's pretty cool and uh, well, yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, we've got a lot to do and uh, well, um, already died a few times down there <laughs> I think twice in lava lost my stuff and yeah not too good not too good I uh, lost even an emerald so mm, ah, having a hard time having a hard time but yeah that's always the beginning and uh, well for now as you can see I've got plenty of resources we don't have all the shards yet and uh, I don't have all the uh, gold yet uh, no, I don't have gold yet. Uh, I've got that for Thumbcraft. You need gold to start now. And it's gonna be a difficult start, that's for sure. But uh, I hope I can guide you guys through it because there are some tips and tricks for it. Now, I've also built these bad boys. And as you can see, it's a force furnace. And they are just awesome. If you look it up, uh, force, what is it, force furnace, it's really easy to craft, just the force ingots. Uh, the only thing is, um, as you can see, it has 1400 fuel now and three golden power source in it, and you can just break it. And it got, it retains just its inventory, so that's really awesome. And on the plus side, uh, it also ejects to nearby inventories. It doesn't eject to pipes, so there's a bit of a problem and I didn't want to have chests all over the place, so I decided to use the uh, buffer from Imibus and uh, it's a kind of an inventory, but if you attach a wooden pipe to it, it will auto eject. So that's a pretty cheap start. So yeah, you can start pretty easily with it. So if I place down my furnace and you can see it still has the same amount of fuel. So that's pretty nice. It's a it's a bit faster and it makes a really cool sound if it finish, finishes one piece. If it triggers. Ah. Oh yeah, you can hear it. It's a bit soft, but yeah, and it's, it's just an amazing uh, thing uh, just to get started with. I did die with my force gems in my inventory, so I lost a lot of them. I also lost my uh, pocket crafter <laughs> in the lava. So yeah, that's too bad. But I got back myself a clipboard, which I do like a bit more actually than the uh, pocket crafter. If you press C, it is a bit faster to pop up on your interface, so that's pretty nice. And it's got the same functionality. So. If we want to make compressed cobblestone, which I often do when I'm mining, so I just leave it in my clipboard and put my cobblestone in there and when I go it just stays in there. So you just have, well, nine extra slots to put stuff in. And you can press the balance key here or you can rotate the recipe if you got one in there, which can rotate. And you can press the button and it just gives you all the stuff back. So it's a handy, handy tool. and. Uh, 
before I forget, this is how you make it. It's uh, it isn't really too difficult. Just a bit of wood, two pieces of pe paper, and a piece of iron. So <laughs> I've got a bit of iron, a bit of bronze. I used the bronze tools first, but well, was a bit was a bit slow. And uh, I did have my dartcraft uh, axe as well as the uh, the shovel and what else. Uh, I think I got all the tools from it, but. Now I didn't have enough items to do this, so I decided to make the osmium, osmium pickaxe, which you get from uh, mechanism tools. And these are, I think, just really nice starter kit. So if we take the um, iron pickaxe, as you can see, it's not too bad. And if you take the osmium, osmium, osmium axe, it's just a tiny bit faster, and it's it's really nice to just quickly mine some uh, trees and uh, it's also pretty fast on cobble um, you don't have to try this on obsidian <laughs> it's just not gonna work it's really slow and it takes a lot of damage in the process um, and I really would like to test out maybe uh, did it yeah okay I would really like to test out maybe the other tools because if you check out the recipe for or the uses for this you can oh it doesn't say yet okay so if you take the osmium you can make a combination which is called a paxel I have no idea but it looks kind of cool although the uses are a bit limited but it's yeah could be could be pretty cool if we look at the uh, mechanism tools what do we have Osmium pickaxe, you also got the obsidian pickaxe, but you have to make some grinded up obsidian. I think I can do that with the applied and logistics grinder to get some dust. Might be might be a nice idea. But there I've got just some more tools and added some armor and yeah, it's just nice to begin with. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I've been mining a lot of these, so they grow rather quickly. It's it's just really fast. Uh, as soon as you take one away, the next one is already there. And uh, had a bit of a problem here, but um, I'm gonna wait till I get my uh, dartcraft axe. So it isn't that much of a trouble to get down that uh, that big tree. <laughs> and yeah, um, today I do want to do a bit of uh, automation, of course, but I also want to get a bit of a supply of leather and uh, ooh, no new saplings I'm not really in need for saplings I've got plenty although I do want the nuggets because you can make some pretty cool ingots out of them <laughs> or you just regular force ingots and yeah I've just been mining a lot of mining and dying and looking around um, Ooh, I got a bit of weed. That's nice. Now I'm getting a lot of these um, bushes. I don't think I need that many, but yeah, I don't know what to do with them yet. But uh, well, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Maybe, maybe we'll just void them, and uh, it'll be good. It'll be okay. Now I think does it output to the back? I don't think so. Oh yeah, it does. Because if they are next to each other, they can also output inside their inventory. So it might be uh, might be a bit uh, different sometimes. But well, so first let's do the proper stuff. Um, I don't need these anymore. So I got somewhere some sort of a junk chest. Yeah for my axe and a lot of wood already might smelt some up yeah why not let's make a bit now I don't really need charcoal because I've got plenty of coal plenty of other ores uh, what I do want to do is take with me some of the osmium ingots and we do have some sticks uh, is that all okay let's make a bit more Oh, right. <laughs> I don't want that. So just take a bit more sticks with me so we can make tools on the way as we go. 
and no 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 and because we are going to uh, try to get some leather I really want to have my four shears so let's make them force craft dart craft four shears <laughs> pretty cool and I don't think I can make some sort of a backpack yet. Uh, and those are from forestry, and these are, yeah, they're really expensive. You just need a bunch of leather. And the workbench backpack, not really handy. Ooh, what does it do, Iceman? <laughs> Didn't know that one. So, nope, not really interested yet. So, we'll have to do it like this. and. Uh, I think I can leave my wrench here, don't really need it. So I do have the diamonds now um, to make myself an enchanting table. I do have the obsidian, which I did with, where did I put them? Oh here, with I, I did with the lava cells. So if you don't know, if you hate to create um, lava cells or obsidian if you hate to mine it, just put lava cells and water cells next to each other. Or you can use buckets of lava. And because we have industrial craft, you can use uh, tin for that. So just three pieces of tin will give you a. Uh, you can make a bucket. And I will teach you a nice exploit later on <laughs> when we get short on materials. But. Um, mm, I think we're good to go. These reeds really grow so fast. Or those sugar canes. That's what it's called, not reeds. And yeah, I got so much of it. Mm, maybe time for a barrel. But yeah, first we'll go exploring. Did I bring. No, I didn't bring any coal with me. Which I always like to do. So. That way we can go exploring a bit farther down in spellings or what well, caves, because I still want to have a midget, uh, midge, midge. What's it called? Uh, midge, mid. I don't know. Dark craft. The force mittens, mitts, force mitts, not midgets. <laughs> and I don't know why I'm doing this. This is a bit stupid. I d really don't need to do this because they grow so fast and if we can get them in mine factory reloaded there to grow that would be nice so zoom out the map a bunch of creepers we've got the oasis over there let's go this way and uh, I'll turn on my waypoint so we know where we where we should go if we uh, want to return yeah and let's go find some of the uh, some oh you know what I want oh hang on I'll be right back yep I'm quickly back at my base and uh, yeah what I wanted to craft was a flask a force flask uh, but it requires a, a force gem or force ingots better um, so I've got bronze I better do silver and oops, I won't be able to do that many. And force. I can, hang on. No. Like this. So we can make a bit of force ingots. And yeah, I'll take them with me, along with my force gems. You never know what you're. Uh, are gonna encounter uh, but yeah force flask is real easy and let's do it in my uh, clipboard it's a lot easier balance and we can make three of them and they don't stack okay so we can make three maybe I want to make three more oops and let's do this nice and quickly. So we should get some glass. 
and it is pretty slow. It would be better if we do uh, four pipes. But yeah, okay, for now <laughs> we'll just have to do. So one, two, and there's number three, come on. Yep, there we go. Craft, and that's nice, it's still in there. So, force flask, here we go. So I'm gonna store them over here, it's just a lot easier. Keep your inventory a bit uh, cleaner. And yeah, I'm gonna meet you guys outside. Oh, this is by the way cotton, which is really nice to get some string and wool if you ever need to. But yeah, let's get uh, let's get us some cows. And I think I better sleep. So see you guys in a bit. Yoohoo! On top of the hill. Well, it's not kind of hill, but <laughs> it should do. It should suffice. As you can see, it just in the distance, you can see my golden uh, forest trees. And uh, yeah, we already found us some sheep. <laughs> and that's exactly what we also will need. So yeah, you come with me. So let's take a forest flask. R right click, left click them. All right, left click them. And it's so cool, you can just see the sheep in there, <laughs> and it's a bottled sheep. It's really nice, it's, I think, a cool feature. <laughs> it's just like a genie in a bottle. And I actually wanted to have two, so let's pick up another one. And the other one, well, uh, let's take them with us for now. So, let's do, no, we'll do this one, we'll shear it, take its wool, and... Oh, there's another one. Quickly shear it, and maybe on the way back we can get a bit more. Um, <coughs> oh, one of the uh, the other problems in my last video was that I didn't see my mouse cursor. I think I turned it on later on during recording, but I'm not sure. I can't remember actually, so I don't think so. But you should see my mouse now, so that's a lot better now. It's just a tiny uh, checkbox, <laughs> and I forgot to check it. So I hope this is better. Um, and yeah, there were a few people asking for Gregtech, but it's well, you will see, and um, in the near future, that it's difficult to get a lot of um, materials collected or the right ones and yeah it will take a lot of time to uh, to gather everything and uh, i really w don't want to slow me down yet and uh, while uh, ic2 is in development it's i don't think it's such a, a good idea to include greg tech because then when i want to update ic2 i have to wait for greg tech to update and yeah, I'm not, no, I'm not too keen on that. And that's why I didn't include it. And I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> Ooh, there's that island. That's odd. That's an island from uh, Biomes of Plenty. But it's stuck in a rock. <laughs> oh man, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, um, so I didn't decide to include it. And someone also asked me, uh, cross block, cross block? Barley seeds, uh, right? Uh, somebody asked me if I could turn turn on the uh, hard settings for IC2. No, for applied and logistics, I guess. Yeah, applied and logistics. So that means you um, have to give the machines ten times more power than usual, and that's incredibly difficult. Well. I want to do it with, that's not dirt, that's sludge, I don't want to be in there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's incredibly difficult because the new IC2, it's really nerfed the power, so you really have to be uh, uh, careful, no, not really careful, but you know, it's, it's really a lot a lot of work to get a lot of power going. So if we want to power our um, our applied in logistics with ten times more power, that's just not doable with IC2. So then we have to switch to Buildcraft. And I, no, I'm not. I don't know yet. I don't 
no, not looking forward to it. So I'm just leaving it like this and well, if the seasons uh, will end too quickly because it's too easy, we'll just start over, I guess. And uh, did I hear a spider? <laughs> I did, I did, I did hear a spider. And yeah, we'll see, we'll see just what happens. Ooh, that's something else. I also wanted to collect some rubber and uh, I haven't found it yet. What kind of a spider is that? Is it jungle spider? Is that new or is that from some kind of mod? I couldn't see that. Oh, that's new. Cool. Maybe it's our Smirchika again. I don't know. It could be nice. And that's all. Oh no, I still have my berries with me. And some brown wool. So many sheep, but no cows. And I really need cows. And the world is lagging a bit. But if we check out the TPS, I think we're good. Oh, it's a bit higher than normal. Oh, and look at that. Thorncrafts. Oh, yeah. Obsidian Town. Oh, and I can't mine it, I guess. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Wow. That scared me. <laughs> Did you know that? It makes a creepy sound when you break it. Do we know if there's anything under it? Because I haven't checked yet. No, I guess not. Ah, too bad. Yeah, well, we'll have to figure that out. What's that that's all about? But well, we got some wisps, so that's nice. And we've got a lot of wool. And I'm not looking for sheep. Oh, there's a desert. I want to... Uh, these are the witch wood from Ars Magica. I did collect a lot of resources for Ars Magica, but I'm still not sure how to start. So I have to look that up on the website or on the wiki. No, that's not a... Ooh, that's too bad. Because I really need the cactus. And nice. We got some raspberry bush. Let me pick these up and I'll be right back. Ah, look what I found even more. That's cool. And so is it only if you destroy the totem face? Yeah, I guess so. So that must have released a lot of taint maybe in the air or something like that. Ooh, and the sun is going under. And at the moment we're in Deciduous Forest. It's really nice, the new biomes of uh, biomes of plenty. They've updated recently and created a lot of cool... Uh, ooh, that's the oasis again. A lot of cool new features. Ooh, you don't get anything? Forest spider, okay. Must be. Oh, that's the cacti. <laughs> I thought I was attacked by the spider. But yeah, it looks it just looks so nice and it's yeah, it makes the world just so lovely to look at. I am still looking for um yeah, rubber, but also clay. Ooh. Black spike. Must be thumbcraft related maybe. Ooh, uh, we've got a spawn. Okay, we've got at least one cactus and it's not gonna fit. <laughs> so many wisps or whip wisp essence in our inventory and I'm not interested in you. All I really want is another cactus. And yeah. There's not much I haven't seen any rubber yet, so that's scary. And of course a lot of uh Enemies are spawning. 
because at home I've lit up the place like crazy so now they should be spawning everywhere and another one wow I don't mind oh that's quicksand pay attention wow that's slow Ooh, so you really have to be careful I would like to collect some sand Ooh, and let's zoom in a bit so we can see where our enemies are. Oh, <laughs> that's not a smart move. <laughs> okay, let me collect some sand and uh, yeah, I guess I'll be back just to uh, see when we get anything interesting because we're already over the half mark or... And I really want to do something else, so still want to do anything, something else. So let me see what I can do and... Uh, I'll be right back. Uh, I just wanted to show you this. The sun is rising and things are popping up. <laughs> no, but look what I found. Straight here. Rubber tree. Yeah. It is an IC2 one, so it's not the, uh, um, the Mine Factory Reloaded one, but that's okay. I don't mind. And this should be here. And yeah, I just pill it up because there were so many enemies. It, got, it just got crazy. So I just escaped it all and uh, made sure I leave. I'd left. And there's an angry zombie. Oh yeah, right. Now you can put me on fire. That's true. I forgot. I forgot. Yeah. All new worlds. Uh oh. Uh, let's throw something out. I've got plenty of you and I don't need you yet Is that yeah, that's clay nice And just kill this one real quick You see how strong the enemies are now now you really need a uh, good protection Oh yeah, totally forgot, I've got two phones, so you have to turn them off both. Oh, that's just right, there was the spider. And what shall we throw out this time? Cotton seeds, I don't need you. I just need clay. Yeah, let me uh, quickly pick up the clay and... So that I've got at least a stack and then we can make a bit of grout, I guess. And yeah, then I'll be... Uh, be back to find us some cows at least that's what I'm hoping so <laughs> see you guys in a sec you finally we've got cows now I've decided to um, dump my uh, sheep and take the pigs instead because I've got sheep real nearby but I don't have cows real nearby so let's quickly grab them. That's one. And where's my other bottle? And yeah, lots of sheep again. Ah, we can still share them. I mean, now we're here. Why not? And then we need to go a long way back. So <laughs> I think that's all I wanted to get. So. And yeah, let me, uh, if I find some more cows, I'll kill them, or, well, if I find some more, um, I'll kill them, or get their leather, and as soon as I'm done, there's a ghost somewhere, hmm, as soon as I'm done, I'll head back to my base, and uh, I'll meet you guys there, I think that's a lot easier to do, so, see you guys in just a sec when I'm back at home time warp yep heading back and uh, what did I find oh boy taint so that's not the way we're going <laughs> I really don't want to go to a taint area uh, I'll just go well this way and uh, go the long way around <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so, no time warp, but see you guys at the base. Okay, I'm back at the base and I found out that if I try multi-core rendering, it doesn't work that well. So it's now on smooth and this is a lot better. So, um, I've got myself a whole lot of wool and found myself a bit of more force gems. So lucky for that, because I really needed them. And yeah, we finally got back. It was quite interesting trip. I really enjoyed that. A lot to see. So let's see if we have time to build a few more. Oh yeah, right. My whole inventory is full. <laughs> if we can build a few more devices and uh, no creepers. Phew, lucky. So yeah, I've got <laughs> so many things. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do the cactus off screen because and the rubber trees because that's gonna be that's gonna be something to do. Ooh, and that's I guess I call it valuables. Yeah, should be. And we've got so many stuff now. And uh, ooh, lightning is doing a bit weird. Why? Hmm. And uh, oh, I just dropped my. No, not here. This one. All blocky stuff, yeah, a bit more sand, not too much though, so... And... It's a bit freaking out, so maybe it is... Um, Optifine, which can be a bit jerky. Uh-oh, can I pick it up? Oh yeah, okay. So you left click them, and yeah. Strange, just strange, but yeah, let's get going because we are running out of time. And my lightning is doing weird, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, colors are changing, I don't know why. Strange, 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 strange. Um, so did we get it sorted all? You can go here, I think. A uh, bottle for now put over there. We still need to build some sort of fence for it and uh well yeah. And yeah, let's see. I've still got eight ingots. So let's see if we Oh, I need to have my cows. Where are my cows? Come here, cows. And we are going to read you. That's not too much actually. What? Did all my Reads just disappear? You must be kidding me. Ooh, I know what happened. Oh, that's annoying. <gasps> oh, I left these here for a bit, and if there's uh, some weeds growing, it will spread out, even if you've got some good crops. So that's not so handy. So maybe, yeah, I did something wrong there, I guess. And. Uh, that's not too good, but yeah, what do you do? So let's make a nice place for our cows so we can easily breed them. Yeah, I thought this was the perfect spot for it. Although I didn't bring any cobble, so let me build a small place and then I'll be back. Okay, so I just used all of my bones to get me some more seeds and I just got seven out of one seed, so just multiplied them, put them here down, just used the bone meal and now I've got seven. And I removed the remaining crops so we don't get any uh, bad things happening. And my frame rate is really dropping, so I don't know why, but something is up. So let's place down our cows. And these are just nice to have. And shave them! <laughs> or shear them. Oh, we only got two, really? You bastards. Ah, uh, I need a book. They are so nasty. And I wanted to have the mitts if it was possible. But okay, as we don't get the mitts. Um, 
Let's get a bit of paper. One, two, three. Let's get my obsidian. Let's get a diamond. First, let's make the book. Oh, and I forgot to breed them, actually. I wanted to have some more, but okay. And let's do this correctly. Oh, I need two diamonds. Ah, that's why. Ah. Didn't I? Something like this. And then, where's my book? Book on top. And enchantment table. There we go. That's one part, and I'm not going to use it actually. Um, nice place to put this. It's in the corner, maybe. Uh, isn't that the way, or can I only do it in a crafting grid? I forgot. Yeah, you can only do it. I thought you could do it on the ground. Something must have changed. You now it's missing a book, and that's the last thing we need to do. Oh, that's something we already got. So we need to get uh, the upgrade term, and oh yeah, it's no picture or something. I thought it was a crafting picture, but okay. So we need to get another book, and for that I need more cow. Oh, do, don't I want to breed? Ah, oh, that's too bad. Oh, and I forgot. Wow, that's a leg spike. I need to get some grass in here, so... Let me get uh, some dirt and make them happy. And... Yeah, then I'll be back. <laughs> so see you guys again in a bit. Okay, I couldn't get the grass to grow down there, so I couldn't get a grass block. I tried the watering can, which helps if you got some grass nearby, then it spreads real fast. But if you try it inside, it doesn't work, so I don't want to dig a hole outside and make it all work. And uh, So I just made the watering can, which is pretty cool. If you press the U key, you get the uh, extra info for it. It's pretty nice. Uh, did need to kill myself uh, another skeleton to get some bone meal because if you look at the recipe if I can recipe you need some bone meal I tried this first but this is the creative mode so you can't do that but and as long as they don't have leather you can't breed them so we have to wait but I've got one piece of leather so should be good for a book and I really want to continue real quick so uh, oh that's the wrong cave <laughs> pay attention come on because we passed the wrapping up point oh, it doesn't matter for a second episode so it's uh, it's okay frame rate is dropping I don't know why maybe my computer is doing something no idea not doing too well Nope, not working on crops. Does it work on these? No, it doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything. And... Wow, what a bunch of stuff do I have. Uh, whoop, and whoop. And let's put this one next to it. Yeah, we've got the upgrade. Yay. Finally. So, now we can start enchanting. So, it does need a bit of... Um, these gems so fill it up just a tiny bit not too much and yep we need some more force ingots because I used them on the force wrench in hope to force wrench me some uh, what you call it some um, uh, some grass but it didn't work so too bad for that Okay, here we go. Let's get crafting because we really need to get going. Ah, that should be plenty. Yeah, I guess so. Yep, so we make first our wooden gear. Oh, I'm going to do this in my... On my normal crafter. I'm 
so not used to having it drop out all the time and uh, you know I don't know actually if because I don't know if you knew but I'm trying to make a force engine <laughs> so I was trying to do this does it work oh it does work nice that's pretty nice that's really cool and do we have some glass no more glass do we use that up that oh, could be a few here a few here no nope, uh, I just wanted the half a few there and a few there so we should have some glass in no time we also need a bit of redstone of course a piece of iron we got a piece of iron and let's put this all away because I'm not going to use it yet and we're getting too many of these I really need to think of something to do with it but yeah we should have our glass and nope let's build first a piston I guess you get one I don't want to use a force ingot I want to use an iron ingot. <laughs> yeah, you have to be careful because, as you can see, I press this and then it's on dart crafting. And you can do it with a force ingot, but it's better to just use the old recipe, of course. So let's create the engine. There we go. And what else do we need? We need a lever to turn it on. Let me. I've got plenty of tin down there. Yeah. So let's craft up. Yep, those are the good ones. And oh, you have to be careful. <laughs> I was a bit too quick there. Of course. That seems to be working. Now, if you don't know how force engines work, they use a catalyst to get power. And so, first of all, you need to have some uh, force gems in there. The best is to have the liquid force in there, but well, because we don't have them, I'm just gonna do it like this. And we're gonna enter some water cells, and I think that should be plenty. Let's close it up for now. Put down a lever, yep, and there it goes. So we should be getting some power. Uh, if you check out the engine, it's now getting a 2.0 thr throttle, so it's doing 8 MJs per tick. And you can do milk, I think, and maybe seed oil or honey. No, I don't think honey, by the way, but uh, could be, could be. Um, nope, let's do it like this because I don't have too many force gems left and I just wanted to show you one tiny where? But, uh, I don't get it where did they go? hmm I don't know huh. is it filling up? oh yeah it is so if you take a look at the question mark you can see some hidden things this is a force knocker a claw and this is sugar I don't know what this is maybe no idea what kind of block it is maybe wool could be but well sugar we've got so let's make just uh, three pieces of sugar I'm not sure yeah that, that that'll do I guess so a bit of sugar let's try a force nugget um, Maybe on the X? I don't know. I don't really have anywhere to put it on X. Oh yeah, I know what it is. It's the... Oh, I'll be right back. Yep, uh, I'm back. Yeah, it's just the, it's the force locks. And that's for the X. So what I want to create... So let's put my tools away for now. Uh, that's this chest, so... We can do a bit of crafting. And let's create... Now this should be all together. Yeah, I want the force pickaxe. 
that's something I want and I definitely want the force X the force X there we go now you can do all different things with them and uh, can we make the force sword I guess we can then we're all out okay so we have a few things to do so first on we put in the force X and we've only got two slots so every time you level up you unlock more slots so let's add in a force lock oh I shift clicked it in that's odd and let's add some sugar that's gonna add speed so now it's gonna enchant use some of the minecraft jewels and we can turn it off now because we don't need the energy anymore and as you can see if you press shift you get the extra information so we're getting tier 1 65 uh, 56 force points left so the X um, I don't think I can do force nugget was it luck no there wasn't luck I don't know what it was what did it do oh speed speed one is the sugar I forgot I wanted to use the can I do that no you can't even do it on a on a force pickaxe so let's add two speeds so it's getting more speed and for the not just the one this one is almost there next year 26 points so this is speed two nice at the sword at the claw and at the force nugget yeah that's allowed so I don't know what the force nugget did I can't remember but as you can see we've now unlocked almost all of them so once it's done yay we are tier 2 and now we need the next materials and paper no what is it hmm lapis maybe fortune cookie I don't know <laughs> we'll find out but yeah as you can see knockback oh uh, knockback that's the force force nugget so that gives knockback to the sword we've got sharpness too because of the claw and we've got a nice lumberjack ooh let's sleep no it's okay because I lit up the place so let me show you this is so nice just do that and we're done it just takes the wood nearby so almost everything and as you can see it's it's so fast it's really cool it's really easy as you can see it takes a big range as well so no need to uh, to do this all the time and it just helps you know and takes quite a bit of wow durability while doing that oh yeah now we can breed so <laughs> I need to get my uh, my weeds to breed them but I'll do that off camera so yeah off camera I will do give them a bit of attention and make sure we maybe can get some milk next time so we can continue this and uh, yeah we definitely need to set up our rubber trees so I'm going to wow I'm going to give that a try and uh, see if we can get that going so we can do some real automation I don't want to or I'm not planning on staying here so I really want to move out and find a nice place but yeah we'll make it a temporary base real short and as soon as we're done uh, we move out and go find a nice sweet spot to live but yeah for now I want to thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed it although it's yeah it's the beginning so it's always a bit boring but yeah I hope I made it a bit more fun by using dartcraft and it's only for the beginning dartcraft I'll stop using it um, after I level up the term maybe for some tiny handy things it's it has but yeah I will leave it after that yeah please leave me a like or a comment or well if you have any questions just 
let me know you can reach me on twitter if you want um, uh, but yeah uh, i hope to do same thing tomorrow and same time i'm trying to upload a different time so that it might be a bit easier for me to render out and upload because that takes a lot of time and i don't want to do it in the night hours so I'm trying it on the day hours while i'm working and uh, it's handy for me i hope you guys enjoy it it's a bit of a strange time maybe for the americans but yeah let me know and um yeah hope to see you in the next episode of ultimate minecraft <laughs> okay take care and bye bye